Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part 1, Financial Planning, Performance and Analytics. This session will discuss about measurement, valuation and disclosure. Measurement, valuation and disclosure of short term items. Short term items like current assets. In current assets we have remembered, cash, marketable securities, accounts receivable, inventories and prepayments. So we measure value and disclose the short term items like accounts receivable, inventory and investments. So in this topic we'll discuss about measurement, valuation and disclosure of accounts receivable, inventory and investments. The current topic what we discuss is accounts receivable. Measurement, valuation and disclosure of short term items, accounts receivable, inventory and investments. Accounts receivable. We sell our goods on credit. Customer, customer says that he would pay after a month. Okay, so the sale took place today, but cash received after 30 days. So there is a time gap between the sale and receipt of cash. So revenue is recognized here, but realized after 30 days. For these 30 days, how do you treat this revenue? You recognized your revenue, but it is going to be cashed only after 30 days from now. Until then, how do you record customer? We should record the details of the customers in our books, how much he owes. An employee borrowed from our company. Okay, we received or we uh, uh, have to receive some money from a supplier, maybe a refund or rebate or something. Or we may have to get some interest, dividend, commissions from other parties. These are all receivables. These are all receivables. We classify the receivables into accounts receivable and notes receivable. Both accounts receivable and notes receivable, we show them in the balance sheet. Yeah, the amount this is owed by customers and others to our company, we call them as receivables. We classify them as accounts receivable and notes receivable and record in our balance sheet until we collect. The main receivables are of two types, trade receivables and non-trade receivables. Trade receivables are those which we had to receive money from the sale of our goods or by rendering our services purely related to the activities of our business. We sold goods, the amount in it is yet to be collected. It's a trade receivable. Non-trade receivable is an amount owed by others to our company, not for selling the goods, not for you know rendering services, but some other reasons they owe money to us. Yeah, say we gave a loan to our one of the offices. He said this five thousand dollars which he borrowed from our company is working as an accounts accounts manager. He said that this amount would be paid in five installments. Okay, so it is a receivable, but not from the trade transactions. It is receivable, but not from the trade transactions. This is an example of non-trade receivables. So he owes money to the company, but he didn't buy any goods on credit. We didn't provide any services on credit. We lent him some money because he was in the need of money. And he said that this money he would pay in a future. Until this money is collected, we record it as non-trade receivable. Then trade receivables purely from the sale of goods or by rendering services 
and the amount what we had to collect is to be shown under trade receivables. Trade receivables are further classified into accounts receivable and notes receivable. So just make a note that the receivables are broadly classified into trade receivables and non-trade receivables. Trade receivables are further classified into accounts receivable and notes receivable. All these receivables or assets to be shown under balance sheet under current assets section because they're all to be received in a period maximum period of one year whether it is trade receivable or non-trade receivable it is to be classified under current asset on the balance sheet receivables we classify them as what trade and non-trade right the trade receivables are further classified into what accounts receivable and notes receivable what is accounts receivable when we sell goods to a customer who has been buying these goods from us for years together we have a good trust we have a good trust so we told this customer that yes you can buy goods what worth hundred thousand dollars with two months credit so we know this customer we trust this customer we have a good relationship he is maintaining the trust for long years so he can buy goods from us up to hundred thousand dollars with a two months credit we don't ask any promise any letter from him stating that this amount I would promise this amount would be paid after two months from the purchase date or something like that. So it is just only an oral promise, not a written promise. It is a mutual trust between us and uh, the customers. We just send the goods the moment a customer places a requisition. Okay, we don't have any record except the invoice and other shipping documents. We don't have any record for the payment. That is called accounts receivable. It's an oral promise. We just record it based on the requisition made by the customer with a copy of the invoice. But we don't have any negotiable instrument with us which we can negotiate with the banks that on the due date we can present it for the payment. No, we don't have nothing. We have to just call or remind the customer to pay this amount. Accounts receivable, open account. Whereas when you sell the goods to a customer, yes, we sell goods to you, we sell goods to you, but yes, this is called open credit, but here we sell goods to you with two months credit, but we need some kind of written promise from you. Give me a check, future dated, that is from two months from now. Okay, you date it, you date it, but future date it. We will hold this until the due date and present it for payment. It can be a promissory note, it can be a letter of credit, it may, can be a guarantee, it can be a post-dated check, it can be a, any kind of negotiable instrument. We have something in our hand. Okay, in simple, it is accounts receivable is open credit and this notes receivable is a written you know guarantee it can be in can be in any format okay you will have some written promise by your customer that written promise can be negotiated with a bank to get money on the due date 